Private Notes are a great collaboration tool within Happy Fox, and it allows you to work with other peers so that you can help or you can receive help while, res uh, while resolving tickets. So let's demonstrate that. Let me go ahead and pick this first ticket. I'm going to quickly review it by clicking on the title, it opens the ticket. I notice that there is an employee requesting access to a building. So, and this is one of those situations that I need to have permission from a manager to, to grant access. So let me go ahead and, and first add a private note for that manager uh, to give us the okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick my uh, manager from the list of subscribers, if you notice. Once I pick the appropriate person, and you can pick several if you need it. Now what I'm doing here is uh, quickly adding a private note to Janet uh, to review the ticket, and that is it. That simple. If you notice, private notes are added into the audit trail with a timestamp so you can stay organized and know when things are being done. If this is an important ticket, we'll suggest using the pin bar so you can keep an eye on constant updates that might happen on the ticket. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and close this and keep working in other tickets. Now, in the meantime, remember that we're expecting a manager to come back and give us an OK. So what you'll notice here in a moment is how all the way up into the top left on my pin bar, I receive an alert. I see a little blue light, which is basically telling me that something's happened on that ticket. So let's take a look at it. You can, again, search uh, by the contact's name or maybe apply a filter. But the easiest way, obviously, if you pin the ticket, you can quickly see it all the way up to the top left. By clicking that icon, it will automatically open the ticket that we need to review. And there it is. I got an OK from uh, my manager. So now what I need to do is update the contact. And instead of adding a private note, I'm just simply going to add a reply down at the bottom left corner. Because now I want to reply to Kelly, which is the person that request, uh, or requested help. Once I type my update, I can just simply update the status on the ticket. If the ticket has not been assigned, you can do that right now. You can assign it to yourself and add the reply. Now, do notice that in my demo account, I have a requirement to complete certain fields. So it's good that this happens, so you get to see how that works. Some of you may not have this requirement, so you won't have to do that. And again, remember, custom fields will be unique in your accounts. So this is obviously a, a demo account that we use for training purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and update and submit and momentarily here you'll see how the status has been updated to close all the way up into the top left my response has been updated so now we have a nice audit trail recording every single comment and then all the way to the right we have the custom fields in fact here is the one that I updated a moment ago with all the uh, check boxes now I also want you to notice all the way up into the top center of the screen, I can see, and this is called real-time agent collision, I can see Janet, my manager, viewing the page. This is great because that way you can see if there are several people, co people collaborating on the ticket, you can see if others are in the same page. It will actually alert you if uh, somebody starts typing on that page as well. Uh, you'll see that momentarily here. Uh, so if you pay attention, notice how the uh, real-time agent collision alert went from an orange color to red, uh, which is basically now indicating that Janet is adding a reply into the ticket. So good. I just wanted to demonstrate that. This is how private notes work. If you need help with private notes, all the way up into the top right corner, if you click the support icon, you'll be able to go to our knowledge base and research more articles, videos. You can raise a ticket there. And you can also chat with our support team. Thanks again.